Now this is my type of road trip. A jet ski tour at Ponce Inlet. We arrived an hour early, so they're gonna let us jump in the earlier tour. Let's not mess around. Let's switch to GoPro and get started. There's the signage, but we will give you more information and details throughout the day. They are getting our jet skis ready, and for some other group, a parasail ready. Right over there is Disappearing Island. We may kayak and subboard over there later today. For the parasailing and jet skis, they have cubbies here. Keep your shoes or your hats or whatever you don't want to take on the parasail or the jet ski. During the jet ski music montages, which I'm sure Nikki's gonna do, keep an eye on the screen for information on pricing and such. But I will tell you right off the bat, this is about a one hour and 30 minute drive from the theme park areas. And one jet ski is $120 per driver. It's a little cheaper if there's two people and one's just riding. I would like to mention they only offer the jet ski tour. They do not offer jet skis just for like hourly rentals. This is the group that was right before us, one hour ahead. We're pulling on in, so that means we'll be pulling on out in just a few minutes. All buckled into her life preserver. Safe now. Are you gonna um, wear the hat on the yeah. right, are you? And yeah, the glasses like, too? Yeah, I'm not burning my forehead. I sprayed mine with uh, like protection. Yeah, no, Sunscreen mine, on mine. I made sure mine's like really tight, you know? So. You know, I already lost this hat already once. You did. Remember on the Snowcat Ridge? On the Snowcat Ridge, yeah. You know what? I think I'm going to risk the hat. Yep. Your left wrist. Um, once the jet skis are in the water, to start them up, there's a green start button on the front side of the handlebars. Just hold that down to start it up. Once your jet ski is running and in the water, you've got two throttles. On the right here, you've got forward, and on the left, you've got reverse. The reverse is pretty cool. I don't know if you guys have ridden jet skis with reverse before, but I recommend you use it. Um, one thing to know, the reverse is not a brake, so if you're going full speed on these, which is about 45, 50 miles an hour, and you grab the reverse, you are not going to stop. So <laughs> um, it takes about 100, 150 feet to come to a stop from full speed on these, so that's a safe distance between you and another jet ski or anything else you don't want to hit. Uh, the other important thing about the throttle right here is you only have steering when you're on the throttle. So if you're not giving it any gas, the jet ski doesn't steer at all. How much gas you're giving it affects how much it steers, so just a little bit and they're very, uh, very slow to turn, a lot of gas, and they're very responsive, so keep that in mind. And we're underway. All right, here we go. Going with the hat backwards thing today, see if that works for me. I don't know if you guys can see it, but we have a couple dogs out there on Disappearing Island at the moment. We're gonna go out there, I think, after the jet ski tour. We did bring the kayak and the subboard. their parasailing boat. Nikki and Gabe are leaving me behind. I'm trying to go pro. They're just having fun. But there is the parasailing. I'll leave information on that as well. We're out in the Atlantic right now. It's a bit choppy to try to hold the GoPro and control the jet ski. There's the lighthouse from the previous video. All right, it looks like we're gonna pull up here to shore for just a moment, stretch our legs on land. So we're gonna walk over here to this little tidal spot, look for some crab and maybe some other wildlife.
Blue Crab. On the road again, or should I say, on the water again. We better watch our speed in this section. We have the Coast Guard coming through. The U.S. Coast Guard right there, my friends. This is a manatee zone, so slow speed, idle speed, no wake. Top speed would be like five or six miles per hour here. We have four boats anchored out here. People living that boat life. I've lost sight of Nikki and Gabe. But they're just around the, the bend there. There they are. There they are. Plane. I think we've been to that airport. I'll leave a link to the video where we went on a bi-wing flying experience. Little boat beside me, but he wants to race. Just kidding, it's still a no-wake zone here. We're getting out of the no-wake zone, they're just waiting on me. I put it away in this little cubby here. We had some high speed, so I put it away. I can see the lighthouse off in the distance there. It means our tour should be wrapping up. Pulling back into dock. We're back and Gabe has landed all three jet skis. We're back on land, but we're not done. Stay tuned. Like I said, we're going to do our inflatables, kayak, and subboard over to that disappearing island. Mm -hmm. Brought a cooler and everything, so we're going to have a good time there. Uh, but first, Mickey, I know you love jet skiing. I do, it's one of my favorite things to do. I think I got it, no, it's in kilometers per hour, so it's not miles per hour, but <laughs> right. I got it up to like 75, what? which I thought was great. I, yeah. I, I like freaked out though, because I got up to 75 and I'm like, <laughs> oh my God, I'm going 75 miles an hour. And you know, not knowing that it was kilometers, yeah. but still, I mean, it felt really, really fast. But um, being out on the ocean was like, yeah. was wicked. Because we started out, we went uh, out into the Atlantic and then we came back uh, into like the, the little, I don't remember the name of the river or the lagoon, but we were in that for a bit. And yep. A no-wake zone. So we got speed, we got some coolness, we got some slowness, we got... Uh, yeah, we got some nice flat water to do tricks and stuff. A little that, bit of everything. You know, yeah, yeah, for sure. So you get like, and on this tour, you get just about everything. Yeah. You know, it's it's great. Get a little break on land there. Mm -hmm. uh, we didn't see like dolphins or uh, manatees or anything like that today. No, no, we didn't. But that's okay. No. Um, It was... It, it's just, just, we just love being on the water. Yeah, being out on the water is just, yeah. oh my. Jet skis are super fun. fun. Yeah, I mean, and you know, and our um, guide Gabe was Gabe? phenomenal. Yeah. It's so great. Good guy. Yeah, Good guy. he let us like have fun on the jet skis and stuff like that and, yeah. you know, encourage the, us. To the do correct stuff. amount of fun, just in case Gabe's bosses are watching. Just the correct amount. Just the right amount. Yes. <laughs> Not over. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Everything was, was great. Everything was great. Yeah. It was a little harder for me because I'm trying to uh, film stuff with a GoPro. I couldn't get up as fast as you. Yeah. You, know? you couldn't get, yeah, no. I mean, because if you're only with one hand, yeah. Yeah, you kind of have to be yeah. careful. And then, you know, like jumping. I swear to God, I think I got total error at least yeah, probably. twice. Probably. You hit the waves you know? just right. Yeah, like, I mean, not just the Atlantic waves, but the waves coming off other boats. Yeah, that yeah, was yeah. pretty crazy. Yeah. So, uh, uh, well, well, my so one, well, I was using the left hand with the GoPro mm -hmm. a lot of the time. And then my right hand was going numb from holding down the uh, the gas. We'll tell you the truth, then, uh, my hand was going numb too. What happened was like, it started to get windy, so I had to put my hat on. Yeah. But I think like a crosswind and everything, so I put it in a little cubby, but putting on my hat, I could not feel my hand. So I was lucky to get my hat back on. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah, so. Anyway, um, we're done with the jet ski. Like I said, we leave all the information in the description box. And <laughs> so we're gonna drive over here to this little uh, beach park, mm -hmm. which I have a, uh, an annual pass for. Uh -oh. So we get to park for free. It's good for like like seven more days. Oh. I got it this time last year. So, okay. <laughs> um, and we'll, we'll blow up the inflatables, the sub board, the kayak, and go over to that island. Yeah. Stay tuned. We're here and we're parked, but we have to figure out the best way to launch the sub board and the kayak. So we got to do some scouting. So we have our little inflation camp set up. Inflate the kayak and the sub board. And then we're going to walk it this way. It's low tide right now. There would be water like right there, but it's a little further back. Show you here in a second. We'll carry the inflatables down this way. 
See, this this would have water right now. And uh, we'll launch. Whoa, I almost slipped. That'd be funny. Oh, I'm slipping again. <laughs> we'll launch right here. Look at that, a clam. And then we'll head down that way to Disappearing Island. And then back. You don't have that thing inflated yet, Nikki? Nor mine? Not quite yet. <laughs> so, how's it going, Rick? Not gonna work, is Bad it? Idea. Lift up your leg. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's not socks. <laughs> and there's a wild <laughs> raccoon back there, too, and I'm stuck. Oh, this is awful. <laughs> oh, and there's the shoes. Fun times. Fun times on road trips. I can't stop <laughs> Okay, go ahead. Epic fail. Are we recover from this? I don't know yet. <laughs> nice socks. <laughs> <laughs> well, we made it to water. Are we ready to have fun yet? Oh my god, I think we're both about to have a heart attack. Good lord. That was insane. Give me a push. Alright. Welcome to Disappearing Island, the island that almost killed us to get here. <laughs> okay, so I'm not sure if you guys can see those kayakers over there, but this is like what we're dealing with. It is hard as heck. That pole, that's two of them in that kayak trying to get past it. We literally had to get up on this sandbar and walk it in. Yep, see how it's pulling them to the side? That's not the direction they were wanting to go. Ugh. I'm not looking forward to the paddle back. And it's only what, like 100 yards? Well, we need to put in over there. Yeah. That, that carry us that way. Yeah, exactly. We're gonna try to use the, the pull of the tide that direction to get us back over to where we stashed our stuff. This was partly in water when we got here. Yeah, it's still uh Oh my gosh, you're right. Yeah. Still Island is still appearing. It's appearing island right now. <laughs> maybe we can walk back. If we wait long enough, maybe we can just walk back. <laughs> but though that, that's not easier either. Oh no, we're trapped. We are. None of this has been easy. The second half of today, a bit of a challenge. Come here and do some jet skiing. Then charter a boat over to Disappearing Island. <laughs> I will say one thing we learned today. We are river or flat water type of kayakers and subboarders. Yeah, uh, ocean water, not our favorite. No. <laughs> In fact, I think we better wrap things up now, Nikki. By the time we get back to the Jeep and stuff, I don't know if I'm gonna survive that. So this might be our last video ever. So let's just wrap it up here while I'm still a little fresh. For real, though, we had fun. The jet ski stuff was super duper fun. Yes, yes. All the information on that is in the description box. Please come do that. Um, the way we did the kayaking and the subboarding, I do not recommend from uh, the Lighthouse Point Park. Don't no, do that. Don't do that. Uh, <laughs> figure it out a different way. I think there's some other places here we can rent subboards. Uh, maybe do a tour. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but, you know, the morning was fun. We learned a lot from... Uh, the afternoon and as always adventure is out there you'll find it on a road trip see you next time maybe